The building can be approached from many directions, and in order to gather everyone towards the entrance, he uses the whole undercroft as a port crochet, and then places a layer of vitreous tiles which run from the outside through the entrance and into the main interior public areas of the ground floor. On entry, you are faced with a slightly raised walkway that emerges from behind the sculpted piece of wall plastered with oversized photographic images that shields the beginning of the stair and its continuation to the floor above. Both the floor and the ceiling materials continue through the common room beyond, symbolized in the original photographs by a marble table in front of another curved wall that arches away towards the field and the gardens beyond. This whole space was designed to mediate uh, between the outside world of nature and the refined isolation of the student cells above. There is no guide from the landscape of the place which would suggest the change from a linear to a curved and shifted geometry. And eventually the journey both ends in a similar linear plan to it begins, to it begins in the undercroft. The, the sophistication of the work uh, works on the basis that the movement in such a building mediates between the idea of community and the individual. And at each point in the journey, the individual is allowed to see both their destination and their starting point, both individual and community. The generosity of the space is in its ability to allow the constant reflection and the transition from the individual to community. The building is designed to allow the protagonist walking through the spatial sequence of the foyer to reflect that their identity lies somewhere between isolation and sociability. But in order to understand this, you have to understand that for Le Corbusier, the marble table uh, within uh, the common room has in this setting, the significance of incorporation. It is a place for the ritual meal, the place of communion, of community and dwelling. If you see it, the table, uh, if you see just a table, then transition is difficult to find in the building. This photo from the Oeuvre Complete is one of those photos Corb uses, which leave in one in little doubt of his intentions. Somewhere between the material majesty of the mar marble slab and the ephemeral scalelessness of the photographic images, the light coming in a deep shadow towards the cave-like space at the rear, placed against the rubble garden wall. Here, it is almost as if the whole building offers the moments of transition by revealing um, what it is to dwell. <clears throat> 